Carlos Rosas of the NIA Technique. Welcome to NIA's online interactive newsletter. It's a new approach to sharing information and education with you from the NIA Technique. Some of the things that you're going to receive are, will include tips, education, and information that you can not only take into class and into your workouts, but things that will help you actually improve the quality of your life day to day. This year, the focus of our education is what we call NIA conditioning. And each interactive newsletter, the information that we share, will provide you with the information that will make it possible for you to benefit from NIA conditioning. And be sure to check out last year's course of study, the five stages of self-healing in the newsletter archives. Hi, I'm Debbie Rosas. And I'm Carlos Rosas. And we're here to talk to you about NIA conditioning. And what is unique to NIA is the way that we condition you. When we talk about conditioning, we talk about the body, what we're talking about is the functional ability of the body, of the mind, of the emotions, and also of the spirit. So it's all, all parts that make up being human. And then really the way that it reflects is in the way that living is joyful. Principle number one of Nia is the joy of movement. Conditioning is the ultimate principle joyful living. So conditioning is a whole lot more than just conditioning my physical body. When you talk mm -hmm. about joy, it's like, wow, I can condition my emotions, my mind, my spirit. I think what's also really unique about Nia conditioning is the way that we approach the conditioning and the way that we approach the body to, con to become conditioned is on what we call the body's way. So we look at the map of the body or the design of the body and that dictates, really, how we should be using the body. And the body's way gives us not only a map to follow, but it really provides me and, and everybody that does NIA with an opportunity to discover a potential, not only a personal potential, but a potential that is really given to us when we look at the body. And it is really through the movement of the body that we feel inspiration through the rest of all of our bodies. For example, think of your mind as a complete body that is inspired through the way in which the body conditions itself, and then the mind follows this joyful method to begin to condition itself, whether it's rational thinking mm -hmm. or creative thinking. And then the same with the emotional body, a holistic system that wants to be pliable, that mm -hmm. wants to have the ability to be creative, expressive in this case. And then we have the spirit body, which says, I want to walk the path that fulfills me spiritually. You know, it sounds to me that what you're talking about is the k a kind of stimulation that stimulates the whole person. And when yeah. I look at Nia conditioning, mm -hmm. people say to me, well, what really is the intention behind Nia conditioning? And, and what really is the main reason? Why should I condition my right, body? Right. And our answer is always adaptability, that the ultimate workout that is a holistic workout yeah. that conditions you to live your life fully and in a healthy way is a workout that really makes you adaptable so that you can adapt on a physical level, on emotional and a spiritual level and a mental level as, as well. Not to mention that we say the adaptability should help you to be able to get up and down from the floor very easily, that that really is great conditioning. Well, that is definitely sustainable living. And speaking of which, the fingers. In modern life, our fingers many times just do very repetitive work. Sometimes they don't even move as much as they could. So we have something called creepy crawlers. That's one of the NIA 52 moves. When you do the creepy crawlers, mm -hmm. then you get to truly adapt and move the energy all through your wrist, into your elbows, the back of your arm, the muscles around the forearm. Wow, I can see all the muscles in your uh, elbow even. It is a scientific fact that when you move your fingers, it increases the activity that goes on in your mind, in your brain. Then it also stimulates blood flow, 
You can even be creative with it and expressive with it, whatever it may be. Use creepy crawlers as a way to condition not just your hands, but your entire being. You know, I love um, using creepy crawlers during the day. Uh -huh. um, part of the NIA work, of course, is to take the concepts and the movements of NIA and bring them into your everyday life, dancing through life. So when I'm dancing through life with creepy crawlers, it's when I've been working on the computer, mm -hmm. and I bring my hands off the computer and momentarily, and I go, you know what? I'm going to practice creepy crawlers right. when I am thinking about what I want my next paragraph to be. And it gives me an opportunity, first of all, to stimulate my mind mm -hmm. and also to keep my hands very flexible and strong. And I find that it releases also a tremendous amount of tension that it might build up in my neck and shoulders just by doing creepy crawlers. So it's a great conditioning move, self-healing move, and also an energizing move. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for joining us. Thank we you. We look forward to the next time.